because we set it up that way. It just I kind of felt like he could kind of get something going as we get this game going here live from stage AE here at Heinz Field. And it'll be chaos with the rock first. That's a smart play right there. You don't see enough of that. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get down. I want to make sure my guy doesn't fumble, make sure that I can get the ball here on this very first possession. I don't want to be down 7 nothing off some fluky play on a kickoff right there. When you have an offense as good as chaos, Absolutely. you want to make sure that you get every single down you can and every shot you can to score that way. He's not going to turn the ball over unless he has to. As we talked about a chaos last year, man, he's one of the top 15 to 20 players in the world, or at least he was last year. He was in that Madden Ultimate League uh, with the 16 top players there. We said Madden 18, Ravens runner-up in that club series there. You'll see a lot of the Patriots offense, trips, tight ends. Uh, also, the uh, defense, you'll know, roll with the uh, Lions there, a little 3-3-5 three, three, odd there defensively. But right now he has the rock, and on offense, It'll be chaos with Mike Vick. Eagle, we're going to see Mike Vick used to perfection here. Vick back to throw. Plenty of time. Here's some pressure. Oh, and it's picked off. And there's deliverance with the defense. Nice spin move. He's got some room. 10, 5, touchdown. Holla at your boy. First play of the game. And there's deliverance. Got some woofing, some chirping, some sniping. And where he's up, 6 nothing, just like that, Rico. I'm not talking trash to you, Larry, but there's a reason why my pick was rock solid. <laughs> and, and Chaos's pick was rock solid yeah, also. Was. And he threw it. <laughs> right to my man, Deliverance right there, delivering the mail, a 7 nothing lead. And it'll be Chaos, Chaos with his second possession of the ball game. This time, a couple of spin moves, going to have the rock around the 34. And my man from... Herndon, Virginia is going to have to pick it up here on the left-hand side. I'm still going to roll with him. I like what he can do defensively, but we know deliverance. Going to be a tough matchup, man. Here's a guy, veteran, been playing for a long time, 27 years of age, has his girlfriend here in the audience, hoping to go visit some family, will visit some family up in the Youngstown, Ohio area. Is going to make a heck of a weekend out of it. Go see the Steelers and the Panthers play tonight. After this championship here for the Steelers Club Championship, Vic completed in the right-hand side. That's a first down to Diggs, digging in the scene right there. First down and 10 for Chaos. Hopefully he can brush off that pick six and get ready and get his head back into the ball game here with four and a half minutes to play. Chaos being the veteran that he is, is going to be able to brush that pick off, but he needs to make sure he gets some points here. He can't underestimate deliverance and how good he is on defense. Yeah, definitely don't want to go down a couple of scores there and get behind those chains and get behind the scoreboard, if you will. Uh, pick up a four. There is second down and six. Sanders uh, with, the, with the catch there. Second down and six. Mike Vick. Seen him in the pocket. Hasn't uh, gotten out yet. We'll see uh, if Chaos can make Mike Vick more of a playmaker and use those legs there down early. 7 nothing. You know, was talking to Chaos, and he knows the liveries. Well, you know, get... Get mad and angry, but you got to get him down to get him mad and angry, and we'll see if Chaos can deliver deliverance uh, into some emotional distress there as he picks up the first down. First down and 10 here for Chaos. Like we talked about it, Madden Ultimate League last year. He's a guy that has proven uh, to be one of the top Madden players in the world, and he's going to have a fight on his hand here, uphill battle down 7 nothing after that pick six to start the game. Deliverance cannot get on his high horse right now. I know with that pick, he feels like he's on top of the world right now. But you got to stay grounded. Remember what got you here and see if you can get another stop because Chaos is too good of a player to think that that one pick six is going to get you the ball game. Yeah, running the rock there with Leonard Fournette. Gain of a couple of yards. You wonder, though, on that pick six. Look, he's too good of a player, but we're all humans, right? We all have some emotions. We all know what has happened and what transpired. I wonder how much... You know, aggressiveness, that'll take away from Chaos. We're going to find out very shortly here. A couple of runs, a couple of safe, short passes here. We'll see if he can take the top off the defense and get back to that wide-open offense that we're used to seeing from Chaos. Mike Vick back to throw. Going to take off running. Not going to get a whole lot of yards there. Might have lost a yard. Actually, a gain of no yards. Third down and eight. They're a great defense by Deliverance. Yeah, that was really a good job in containing Mike Vick right there. Chaos is going to need... He's going to go for it on fourth down, so he has to remember he has two shots to get this eight yards here. Do not force the ball. Mm -hmm. Remember, you have two downs to get eight yards. Third down and eight for Chaos. He told us before the game his buzzword was be methodical. He's like, Larry, I've got to take this thing one play at a time. 
one snap out of time and get going there. Third down and eight, like you said, he's got two plays to pick up eight yards. Got a receiver on the corner out, and it's Tyreek Hill, the cheetah, down around the 15-yard line, and that's what we're used to seeing from my man Kay Aus. Dots up and down the field. We'll see if he can keep it going, Rico. Yeah, he had everybody open. <laughs> and the more you allow him to make those type of reads and complete those passes, the more confidence he gets, the more that offense is going to click, and the next thing you're going to know, deliverance is going to be in a ball game. First down and 10 for Chaos, down by seven. Vic facing a blitz, dumps it off in the flat to Leonard Fournette. Brought down, great tackle, great one-on-one -on -one tackle there. And if you're deliverance, you'll take that all day long. You want to flip it out to the flat. And pick up no yards there. Second down and 10. Back with the guns. Back in the gun. Trips tight. Trips to the left-hand side there. Tight end on the right-hand side. You got Leonard Fournette offset. Got Barry Sanders running the tight end. He had him up the scene right there. He could have really snapped it and hit him with that A button. Had him right there close to the touchdown line, at the goal line there. Uh, opted to go to Leonard Fournette. Probably a little gun shot. Was probably scared to throw that thing in a tight window. Yeah, he did not want to force that one, especially when the flats have been wide open. He would rather take the easy completion, move it, because he knows he still has two shots to get six yards. Third down and six. Chaos back in the gun. Leonard Fournette offset to the right-hand side. Trips to the left. Barry Sanders playing the tight end. Got to get rid of it. Running out of space. And there's a sack there by Deliverance. Good play there, and you can see Chaos a little disappointed there. Had the ball first and 10 from around the 14-yard line and, and not able to pick up a whole lot there, and the field goal is up and it's good. That is a win and a stop for Deliverance there, 7-3 the ball game. Yeah, and, and I always tell Chaos, I know you come from a basketball background, but you cannot win in Patton by taking mm. threes. <laughs> it may work for Golden State. I was State, about to say, unless you Golden State. But it's not going to work for the Steelers right here in the club championship. And Deliverance, once again, doing exactly what Chaos did on that very first drive. Like, look, let me go ahead and get down. I've got the lead. I don't want something fluky here, something glitchy here to change my fortunes and get Chaos back into this game and possibly uh, teeter-totter back ahead uh, and take the lead. It'll be the first time we'll see Deliverance with the ball here. Once again, 27 years of age from Naples, Florida. Got the Seahawks offense. You saw him with the Lions defense. You'll see a lot of trips tight as well for Deliverance. Got Telvin Coleman back there. Dab hands it off, and Coleman's got some space. One man to beat. Can he get by him? And he can't. Great tackle there by Deion Sanders. Well, Deion Sanders made a game, a, a touchdown saving tackle. Hey, watch it. You see, he came for Romo when Romo made that same joke. <laughs> you do not want primetime mad at you. I, I take it back, man. I balled, Deion. I want to get the call, man. And, and here's where I'll tell you, Deliverance had nothing but wide open field. Oh! oh. He stayed on that spin cycle to yeah. the right. He, we, got, we got to work on his stick work a little. <laughs> Just a little We've bit. We've seen a couple of spin moves like, whoa. Where are we going? Which way did he go, George? Second down and four here for Deliverance as we tick through the first quarter there. Highly entertaining first quarter there. We saw a pick six to the house by Deliverance. Chaos answers back, gets a field goal, and he's down 7-3. As we begin the second quarter here live from stage AE at Hinesville, the Steelers Club Championship. Larry Ridley alongside Rico Williams. Madden historian here. Been around Madden since John Madden. <laughs> <laughs> Great completion there. Picks up the first down. Gain of seven yards there for OBJ. Odell Beckham Jr. getting out of bounds, picking up a first down into chaos territory for McNabb and deliverance in the Steelers. Shout out to Young Kim, our MCS champion from last year, Absolutely. checking in in the chat. He's uh, giving deliverance his kudos. Great run by him, man. And to see how, you know, what transpired in that Seahawks Club Series, I was there for that when he lost the killer mic on, I don't know, six or seven long fourth down completions. Four on that one drive there in overtime. But to see him come back and win the Ultimate League and take on that belt, man, it was good to see uh, him do so well. He and Drenny are doing a great job with the, the youth movement, the youths. Yep. And, and Joel was in this uh, Steeler. Club championship, he wasn't able to make it in. Shout out to Sirius Mo also who made the chat. Ohio's finest. Sirius Mo still out there banging heads, uh, doing a good job playing and still being competitive. Don't want to see that guy on the sticks. Still a very high-level Madden player. 
Oh, serious mo. Second down and six here for Deliverance. This tells you how big of a game this is between chaos and deliverance. Joe Rice is in there. Everybody is in this chat right now, locked in, trying to see who's going to come out the victor. Man, you're talking about some of the best players in the world. Every guy you named out, I'm like, that guy's got a belt. That guy's done well. That guy's won tournaments. That guy's been all over the country and all over the world playing Madden. So you're absolutely right. Uh, good numbers as well from the chat. I just heard from my buddy. Um, uh, Coach K talking about the numbers in the chat, man. Everybody watching this Steelers Club Championship live here. Hinesville, man. Great facility here. Can't say enough about stage AE. Pass completed to Coleman here. Love this facility. Love the setup here. The Steelers fans, here we go. Steelers, and here as, we go. As we're talking, Deliverance is just marching down the field, and he's using that clock wisely. And one last shout-out to Hashugs. He's in the chat right yes, now. Sir. Another live event <laughs> veteran. He's been playing since back in the day. He was. Coleman off the left-hand side. Coleman, a couple of uh, seven carries, 44 yards for him running the ball very well, over six yards per attempt for uh, deliverance there. So uh, once again, knocking on the door here. Second down and seven deliverance. Plating the clock here. Hell of a drive here by deliverance. But he's going to need to get seven. If yes. he gets Because he's going to leave some time. Yes. If he only gets three, that allows Chaos a chance to get right back in this game. If he can put seven on the board right here, go up two scores, it could be huge. Coleman running hard. The running back from IU, Indiana University. Third down and three for deliverance. A four-point lead here in the red zone. Got McNabb back in the gun. And his trips tight formation. All right, just want to run this thing down to the two-minute warning. Will he snap it beforehand or go ahead and just take it down to the two-minute warning, which is probably something he should do. It all depends like on what if you like what you see. If you feel like the play that you called against this defensive setup has a great chance mm -hmm. of success, you call it. Otherwise, you take it down to the two-minute warning and go. If it's the for sure first down, right. you do it. Otherwise, say, it's got to be something you're expecting, right? Good point there. Rico Williams, the Madden historian. Been all over the country and the world playing and promoting Madden. And there's a catch there by OBJ underneath. Lot, look, 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 people could stay hurt too, Rico. Don't get me wrong, but a lot of digging and dunking here between these guys here, especially Deliverance, doing a great job of ball control, taking some time off this clock. He knows likely Chaos will get the ball back, but he's trying to leave uh, the least amount of time on the clock as possible. Now, we're going to see the difference between him and Lawrence right now. He already started making Chaos burn his timeouts. He will make sure, unless he scores early, that Chaos uses all of his timeouts. First and go, hands off to Coleman, up the middle. Great tackle right there by Chaos, man. Boy, if that, if that was real life, he'd be seeing snot bubbles right there. I'm telling you, that was a heck of a blast and a heck of a hit there by Chaos. Those hits always make you a little nervous when you're on offense because that reminds you that oh, I can fumble. Mm, absolutely. And you don't, wanna, you don't want that to happen to you down here. But as you can see, he ran the ball again, made him use another timeout. Great one-on-one -on -one tackle right there. Great tackle. I mean, this is nothing has come easy for these two guys, save the, the very first play of the game when he had that pick six, and he took it back to the house. Third down and go. Chaos needs to stop here. 139 left, took his last timeout. I thought a great timeout right there, and that's the Ohio. difference with Ohio. these high-level guys, man, the thinking, the way they go about it, being prepared here on each and every play. McNabb back to pass. Got a receiver. Oh, be careful, and it is caught. Didn't get, he did get the touchdown. I thought he had the ball right over. He did get the touchdown. I think that's a correct call. There's his girlfriend right here in the house, in the building. And they got this family vacation, this big trip to Youngstown. Will it be a happy trip to Youngstown? If he can win, get this win and hang on and get to the championship game, I'm sure the girlfriend will be saying it was well worth it going to the Steel City in the Youngstown. Right now, all you can do is see that smile on Chaos's face. He knew he was in position. It didn't go right. All he can do is chuckle at himself and just realize, hmm, today might not be my day. But you have to stay focused. You have a minute 31. You need points. Deliverance gets that ball back. Right. And if you do not put some points here, he is too good of a veteran. He will close that game out. He will milk the clock. He will make you take your timeouts. He will continue to move the chains. So Chaos must 
put some points on the board. And that's been the difference uh, in this ball game compared to the first ball game. Just clock management, time management, play selection, play calling. You can see the difference here. Here are two guys that are used to playing in front of thousands of people, playing for thousands of dollars at a time, and you're starting to see some high-level play between these two young men. Second down and second for Chaos, and he's got a receiver, and he's got Barry Sanders, his tight end. Yes, I said Barry Sanders, his tight end. Heck of a receiving core he's got. He's got OBJ, Barry Sanders, got Leonard Fournette in the backfield. Stephon Diggs, and he's got the cheetah, Tyreek Hill. Did a good job with his salary cap there. First down and 10, under a minute to play. Chaos with the ball here. Definitely needs to score at least the field goal. A touchdown would be nice. Going deliverance, going to get the ball. And once again, Barry Sanders just running like these little hooks right across the middle of the field. And he's been wide open every single time. Chaos doing a good job finding him. And real quick, and for those of you who have been tuning in for several years uh, with the Madden, and you understand the joke here. Problems here. Our current GOAT. Shout out to Problem. <laughs> <laughs> the GOAT. And... Not to not to rub one in, but <laughs> with the year Skimbo had last year, sure, it's, that just, it's a debate it now. Just, no, Absolutely, no, it just no, no, it shows you how good problem was and is that he's still been able to hang. Yes, and he has continued to hold on to that belt. Consistency is very important uh, in that argument, but I, I'm going to say this one last time. And Kiv <laughs> won it all last year. Who was Problem's protege exactly. in Absolutely. Top Madden. Absolutely. You saw it was an all-top Madden MCS. It was. It was. Give him credit. Absolutely. Cannot take that away. Uh, but working in Boston and living in Boston, they went nine years, ten years between championships. That's all I was saying uh, when it comes to that. Uh, great job, though, uh, what he was able to do last year. And I love that. That was a great discussion right there. The GOAT. It's funny looking at uh, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. It made me think about it as well. They were talking about, you know, they're billing the two goats there uh, between those two uh, great quarterbacks there. They got a goat here as well uh, with Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, definitely a goat at receiver with Antonio Brown. First down and 10 for deliverance. Almost broke that one right there with Coleman. Coleman almost five yards of carry, four and a half there. He's got the lead. He's up by eight. If you're chaos, this is one of those wobbly kind of territories here. Like, you don't want to get him out, you know, get out too much in front because Deliverance is not going to let you get back in the ballgame. Deliverance needs to make sure he puts some points on the board here. Because if chaos gets a stop. Oh! oh almost brought in. Was that prime time? <laughs> chaos. Uh-oh. We've seen that face before. <laughs> Actually, all of America has seen that face before when it went viral. <laughs> Third down and five, man. It is so good to see these guys come through the ranks, man. Chaos played in my tournament a couple years ago. Oh, and there's the pick. That's the play he needed, and he got one, and there's the excitement. That's what I'm talking about right there. You got these two guys that are just going at it. You can't make a mistake. Each competitor will make you pay, Rico. And that he did right there. Chaos was right underneath that route. He was waiting. Now let's see if he can go ahead, use that momentum, put some points on the board. Now the question here is, if he does get in the end zone, is it too early to go for two? Yes, absolutely. I think so. Couldn't yeah. disagree with you more. <laughs> I, I know, man. I just, I'm not a big fan of it until you get to the fourth quarter. I'm just, I'm just not. I don't like chasing points, you know? I hear you. But this is mad. So, I mean, if, you, if you're not going to punt the ball, I, you know what? You probably have a good point. Go for it. But the traditionalist in me will say, look, don't chase points. Sir. Go for it. Second down and 12 for Chaos. Got the ball off that pick. Oh, be careful there. And it's good that he overthrew that one because he had a guy underneath that corner. Every now and then, Michael Vick, as I like to say, will throw the ball in the bushes. <laughs> when you were playing pickup football as a kid, never, exactly. that one kid wanted to be quarterback and wasn't any good. Double, double. Don't go running into the bushes. Uh, unless you're at UGA, you go running into the hedges <laughs> down in Georgia. Third down and 12 here for Chaos. Trying to get back into this ball game, maybe even it up possibly. Mike Vick, plenty of time there. Got some room. Got a receiver. Oh, he had A. He went for broke, though, with Y. He had A coming across wide open at the sticks. He needed to plant. Mm. and then throw that ball. He had all the time in the it's world. True. He was just so excited because there were so many people open. And that's what happens when you have Michael Vick and you get outside. He creates problems. Phil go up. Oh! oh! It went in. It, it, it did go in. 
It hit the crossbar, but it hit over. That anim Look, that animation there was a little tricky, but it did count. Chaos gets his uh, third field goal of the game. Look, so far the difference in the game. Chaos has had three scoring opportunities. He's got three fields, field goals. Deliverance has a couple of touchdowns. That's been the difference in the game. OBJ on the kickoff return. And we'll take a look at this kickoff, this field goal again. Here's the replay. It's up, and it is center cut right down the middle. Hits the crossbar. It does Ohio, bounce backwards. Ohio. And it does get it. Did it hit the net? Back 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 over? Back yep, back animation was a little tricky there. Cut. First down and 10. Great look to Coleman. Oh, great move there. Picks up another seven or eight yards. Another first down for McNabb and company. Deliverance with the lead by five here. How do you think to see this thing shaking out here? Good defense. Uh, missed opportunities for chaos. Right now, if you're Deliverance, you're thinking, I just got to get three. As long as you get three here, you're up eight. You know you're not in a position to lose. That almost guarantees you to have the ball last sure. for the guap drive. <laughs> the guap. And that's all you can ask for when you're playing against a player that good as, as good as Chaos is, sure. to have the ball in your hands at the end of the game going in for the win. 56. Ohio. Ohio! Absolutely. Second down and 10. Deliverance. Can he deliver a score? Watch out. Coming off the right-hand side, screaming. And that's a sack by Chaos. Big play there. Look at these two guys, man. Just some of the faces that they make, man. Just the passion uh, that they display here. Man, it's been a, a heck of a ball game to call here as we're live here. Madden 19 Steelers Club Championship live from stage AE at Heinz Field. The terrible towels. Got Thursday night football coming up between the Steelers. Here we go. Panthers keep pounding. But we've got Madden right now. Oh, and he's got to get rid of it. He throws it away just in time. Look, it's fourth down here, right, Rico? What are we going to do here? We're going to pump the ball. He's going to punt. He's going to love it. <laughs> I guess so. You, you've been playing good enough defense. You've held him to three every time. You have to consider the law of average. It says, hey, I can do it again. Sure. So don't give him a short field. Don't let him off the hook. Orange, orange. Alpha, alpha. Chaos with the rock. Third quarter, two and a half minutes to play orange, here. Orange. Down orange, only orange. five. I thought this was going to be more of a, a shootout. I was thinking, you know, something like 31-28. <laughs> Got Diggs there. Stephon Diggs across the middle coming inside. Mike Vick, 10 of 13, 101 yards. Look, Chaos has been efficient. Uh, just hasn't had the ball enough, and he had some, had some breakdowns and some miscommunication, and third down has not been good to him uh, in some of these drives here. Chaos, first down and 10 around the 30-yard line. As we go uh, around two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Both of these guys still in this ball game. There's the corner route. Toe drag swag. Oh, that was sweet right there. Brought in by Tyreek Hill. Couldn't have drawn it up any better than that. Look at that. Drag that toe there. Great reception there on the corner route for Chaos. First down and 10 as he's back in the gun, Rico. That was a great read. Deliverance decided to ease up on the pressure there and allowed Chaos to go through all of his reads and progressions. And as you can see, that was a mistake. You know, this Leonard Fournette out in the flat, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that pass play. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm just kind of over it, you know? Like, you know? <laughs> well, <laughs> he hasn't done anything. It's like four or five passes to the flat. He's got like five He's, catches for like eight yards. But it keeps him honest, It though. does. And then what happens is, one of these times, Fournette's going to break that initial tackle. That's what you got to hope. That's and what then, you got to hope. Bullet pass and it's caught by Diggs. Coming on that little dig route there. A little slant as well. First down and 10 for Chaos. Diggs now three catches, 45 yards. He's averaging 15 yards three, a catch three there. Down, three down. As we get closer three, towards the fourth quarter, under a minute to play. Lion, lion, lion. Larry Ridley, the Madden historian. Rico Williams here at Heinz Field. Stage AE. Got plenty of Steelers fans. First down and 10. Chaos pressure coming off the right hand side. That's why you got Michael Vick. Can he make a man miss? Great job of just taking the slide, taking the three yards, and living to fight another down. Yeah, he wanted to make sure he did not put that ball on the ground. He was not going to allow himself to get caught in a fumble situation. Second down and seven. He will have to snap it at least one more time in the third quarter. Eagle, eagle. Chaos with the rock. 
Down by five. Under 20 seconds to play. Hands it off to Leonard Fournette. Is it? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just not feeling Leonard Fournette today. I'm just not. Like every time he gets the ball, it's like there's no burst. If you're not trucking anybody, it's like, well, what are we doing here? You know. And, it's, just, and you yeah. just remember those words. Yeah. And then when Leonard Fournette decides <laughs> to truck somebody in the flat and goes in for the game-winning touchdown, you're going to be like, wow. And, and, and you know what I'll say? That's why you keep giving Fournette the ball. Eagle, eagle. Third down eagle, and four eagle. as we move to the fourth quarter here. Chaos with the ball down by five. Oh, we take it up right up the middle. Get the first down. But he's got Sanders, his tight end, Barry Sanders, on a little out route, little corner there. Picks up enough for the first down. Chaos getting into a groove now, starting to pick deliverance in that defensive part. Yeah, but here's the thing. Anybody can get to the red zone. It's about capitalizing here. Three does not help you. You need seven. He needs to take the lead and put the pressure on deliverance. Oh, wow. right at the one, and it's caught there. He wasn't in. He had one foot in the end zone, one out. The ball never crossed the plane. So good call there, second and goal from about the half yard line inside the one. Barry Sanders, that's a heck of a tight end right there. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Could do a heck of a lot worse, that's for sure. Uh, this is the difference here between uh, you know, high level Madden players and championship level Madden players. Can you score in the red zone? And there's Leonard Fournette again. <laughs> he's gonna get in. He's gonna, ha you know what, at some point he's gotta kind of solidify himself okay, on the roster. What, why am I, you know, spending money on the guy? Why is he on the team? Can he make a play? Can he do something in the flat? Can he run the ball in? Can he truck somebody? At some point, look who's in the back. Leonard Fournette, the fullback. Oh, and he gets a touchdown, finally. Leonard Fournette, bad hamstring, piano on his back and all. He's in the end zone. And Kay Alce, the seesaw, takes the lead. Now you go for two. I'm okay with that right now, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> if he would have took the one before and this one, it would have been the same. So I guess you're right. That's all about time. It was just a, it was just a preference. That's all. Oh, picked off there. High pointed. He could have ran that in with Vic. Yeah, he could have ran that in with Vic. He didn't have time. It right. was so open. But a lot of times if you're going through your reads, it's tough to make that call. Big score there by Chaos because now – you were talking about if you deliverance, having that ball getting that quad drive. Now if you chaos, even if he scores, I'm down no more than seven at the worst, and I'll have the rock to come back and maybe tie this thing up with take it. This is the first time deliverance is actually gonna have a little bit of pressure on him. Remember, he started the game with that pick six, so he's been playing with house money all game. We always talk about that game Ohio. pressure. Ohio. Who's got it on them? Who has the momentum? And right now the momentum. The momentum is behind Chaos. Up over the most tip drill. Oh, and it's caught off the tip drill. And that was that, that was Hill. Off, was that off a helmet? <laughs> hit him in the helmet. Right through his hands and run off his helmet. McNabb back to <laughs> Come on, OBJ's got, got some of the best hands in the world. He got lucky there again. He did. Oh, great tackle. Coming off the right hand side, brought down by his linebacker. For Chaos, a Ohio. loss of two, and not only any linebacker, that was LT. Lawrence Taylor screaming off that right side. Flex round! Flex round! Second down and 12. Chaos yeah, has the lead, but deliverance with the ball. Run his own 40 yard line. McNabb, better get rid of it. Oh, and he's brought down, and that was a big sack. That could have been a game winning play right there, Rico. Great pressure. And it's a sandwich. Look at two guys. One coming off the right and one coming off the left Ohio, for Chaos's Ohio. third and 25. It still may be a game-winning play, right, just not right, for right. deliverance. <laughs> it's going to be Ohio, for Chaos because third and 25 is a tough one to be in. Hopefully deliverance doesn't try to get it all back with this one play and force it. Got to make a move here. Oh, he's got some moves. He's going to come up about him. He's going to be about eight or nine yards short there. Fourth down and eight. Very good job of finding that receiver there. Look, Chaos brought a little pressure, and the blitzer got he got uh, he got um, he got hit low a little bit. He got chopped down. So fourth down and eight right here. Here's the difference, and here's a thousand dollar play, if you will, right here, Rico. And I don't mind him going for it just oh, because really the not. clock is ticking down. You don't mind giving him a short field because even if he scores, 
got OBJ oh, there. Wow. He had a blitz to come free, but he kind of was stumbling a little bit. That's two straight blitzes there. Wasn't able to get home, and therefore Deliverance gets the ball, delivers the ball to OBJ. Not only does Deliverance get the ball, he's almost in field goal position. Right. And if he's smart, now he needs to play the clock as well. Yes. You know you only need a field goal to win it. It's going to be hard, though, to pick up 10 yards just running the ball. But Chaos, I let it. Let it go. Absolutely. Second down and 13. Save those timeouts there. To deliverance, you, you better not snap this ball. No, see, it's, 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 it's interesting. Just because you have to also worry about if you do get stopped, right. you don't get that first. You got to leave yourself a little bit of time to get a stop and then come down and score again. Now, this is like Brady v. Rodgers. At this point, it does not matter. You don't want to give him the ball unless you absolutely have to. You're going to keep it in your hands. If you're deliverance, you're going to go down on your own sword with the rock in your hand. I agree absolutely with that. Second down and 13 for deliverance. Fascinating here, Rico Williams, the Madden historian, trying to see how they end this ball game. Owners, there's another blitz. That time he does get home. And we've got a third down and 19. Was that the old ballin'? The yeah. old Michael Strand? Hot, 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 hot. Somewhere Jim Jones is very happy. Ohio! Ohio! Third down and 19 All for right. deliverance. Now, Chaos doesn't have to necessarily worry about the first down. Just make sure you don't let him get in the field goal range. Mm -hmm. But even if he does, you're going to get the ball and the rock back. So if you stay out, you're in a good position here. Just don't let him pick up the first down, and you have a chance to win. Oh, great route. User went upfield. It's going to be short, though, by about two yards. So fourth down and two here. If you're Deliverance, great timeout by Chaos, by the way. Deliverance, you absolutely kicked the field goal here to possibly take the lead. It's going to be a long field goal, but very makeable here. About uh, 48 yards. All right, he nailed that field goal. Up, and it is good, and he takes the lead at 17-15. But as Rico Williams likes to say, here is the guap drive there. Or coming for chaos. Can he put this thing away, salt it away, get in the field goal range himself, and move on to this championship game? And it'll be the two guys who I thought would get there. I thought there'd be two guys coming with some, you know, some 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 juice here. And an opportunity with the upset. We already had one with Lawrence. Can Chaos get it done as well? Or will deliverance deliver himself to another Steelers Club Championship final game? Chaos needs to make sure he makes good reads. Do not force anything with Vic. You know he's not the most accurate passer. You'd hate for him to throw that pick that seals the game. Oh, he had one. Uh, he, a little late on that one. You got to throw that one as soon as he's at the top of his route. That's a tough way to make a living. <laughs> because there are three guys around him. That was a, it was a good throw, but a little dangerous there. But you know what? Here's the thing about chaos. I would like to run the ball. Get to Leonard to use some of those timeouts. But I can't trust Leonard Fournette. I know he's got the touchdown, but the guy hasn't done anything for you today. This is where it gets really interesting. He only needs three. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, maybe you run the ball on first down, get him to use some timeouts. Leonard Fournette hasn't done anything on the ball, on the ground, uh, and especially in the flat with those four or five catches. Uh, third down and five here for Chaos. Interesting play call here. He's got the trips tight. Watch the deep ball. Oh, he, uh, no, he took away. You got to run with Vic. Oh, you had him. And he does. Oh. He's got Barry Sanders. Breaks off. Get down. Don't want to fumble there. And there is the timeout by Deliverance. Huge money play. A dot to his tight end, Barry Sanders, who's the player of the game. Caught a touchdown. Got in the backfield. Did everything for chaos today. And he's able to hold on to this game. Now here's where it gets interesting right now. <laughs> See the time ticking. Deliverance does have three timeouts. Yes. My only thing is Chaos called a timeout after that. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I would have. No, absolutely not. I would have let Deliverance <laughs> use one because now all you're doing is allowing him a shot to get the ball back and maybe like 20-something seconds left. And we know it's mad and anything can happen. Right, right. Absolutely. Yeah, that was. Um, we would have to ask him about that. Why did he call that? But there's a first down. I uh, got it. Was it third and one? No, we'll give him the first down. Oh, it, I didn't give it to him. It's third and a half a yard. Third down and about a long, we'll call it a, we'll call it a half a yard here. Third down and one for Chaos. Down by two. Deliverance, the defending Steelers Club champion on the ropes here. 
Kenny Boas net get a stop and somehow do something. Block the field goal. Maybe Chaos misses it. Leonard Fournette, of course, he goes up the middle and gets nothing. And here it comes. It's going to come down to this on the leg of the kicker for Chaos. Fourth and two. Dan Beetle Bailey. From around, we'll call it 35. And it's up and it's good. And the field goes up and good. Chaos on the teeter-totter. Back in front, 18-17. You said 20, 21 seconds would be left on the clock. You hit it right on the head, my friend. Yeah, yeah I try. They didn't just hire me for my good looks and silky smooth well, voice. Yeah, it was good looks, silky smooth voice is part of it. <laughs> part All right, here we go. 21 seconds. If you're chaos, you don't want to waste too much time. Yeah, you got to be careful here. You can't give up a big kick return. You oh! can't give up oh! a big kick oh! return. Oh! Oh! You can't give up a big kick return. And he did. Tyreek Hill, just like that, the cheetah. He's going to cry in the car. Oh, my. I'm crying. <laughs> Don't you hear all the sound? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a tough way to, oh that's a tough way to lose that one. Oh, my mm. gosh. Yeah, that's a tough one. I feel you, bro. I feel you so much right now. you got to make that tackle. If you don't do anything, you can't give up a long kick return. Ohio! Ohio! Mm. Mm. Oh, no, no. Three mm. down. Deliverance, the two-point play. Taken off with McNabb. Back across his body, way out of bounds there. 23-18, eight seconds left. Oh, if you're chaos, man. I, I just, I, all you can do is just bite your lip, bro. Bite your lip. Try not to kick anything. <laughs> Try not to punch anything. That's, that's a tough one, man. That is a tough pill to swallow. If Deliverance is able to hang on and win this ball game, and for the second straight year, potentially get into the championship game of the Steelers Club Series, Club Championship here. First down and 10, Chaos, he needs everything. He just caught, he's got his last time out there, four seconds left, and we're gonna get a Hail Mary. Or he toss Leonard Fournette, see if he can break something. <laughs> yeah, throw a little swing pass in the flat. <laughs> Leonard Fournette, he pick up more than two yards. He, he did just give it to Leonard Fournette. He's trucking. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be that. I was being funny. You were being funny, but that was, but that was, that was his call. That was his call. And we have a winner, and it is Deliverance. Delivering once again, 23-18. Fabulous finish. If you're chaos, man, my hands are in my head too, bro. That is a tough pill to swallow. Deliverance once again into the championship game here for the Mad 19 Steelers Club Championship.